This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. <gasps> Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I'm sure he can. <coughs> Doesn't necessarily mean he will. <laughs> Best join them. They'll help you get. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists. Aimed that at is some the very Lord stationary fluid you have in your hand. The throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. We've got big plans, little plans, medium plans. You need a plan, we got it. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more. If I may, I. If any. You lost your mind. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the other. <laughs> <laughs> he just acknowledges the fact I don't give a shit. <laughs> Wait, but Doubt has a wrist-mounted crossbow. The academy teaches that. Perfect. Now plug it in. Perfect. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Should you have your hand so close to a spinning drill head? You just hold still. Fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Nope. There. Better now. Mild. You must be exhausted. Is that a slaughterfish just now? Or is it hagfish? I forget. Which game am I playing again? That's some... Um, very interesting... Yeah. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the dis- Oh my! You startled me. You, you saw uh, me like you five seconds be before. I suppose you're practicing for your, well, your job. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? The hell are you on about? Family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I'll go to sleep now. Something's not right. <gasps> Hello, Corvo. I don't think I've ever listened to this guy talk. <laughs> Damn it. No, oh, come on, you can totally make that jump. I am pretty. Oh shit. I forgot to jump. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I had it! There we go. Haha. <laughs> Only took. What? Five, six attempts? Oh, it's a bow. Really? I can't save her, do you think? Maybe because she's, you know, dead. <laughs> okay, this one I, I won't make without the uh, blink. Well, I didn't get the letter in the bottle in the river, but I did see it in my dream.
I'm sure this is the intention for having these here. No. <laughs> well, that was a pathetic jump. No, 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 Sorry, were you saying something? To help you find these rooms, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. That's not the heart of a living thing, that's the Empress's heart. And will guide you toward my rooms. And the Empress is dead. Watch as there's absolutely nothing in here. Like I said, nothing in here. Ooh. I sure do like cutting it close. Delicious. Oh no, he's gonna talk to me even more. Can you count how many DLCs I have? Elementary songs. History of the Isles. Geography of the Isles. Boring! I'm gonna surprise them and come in from the wrong direction. Hey! Nice reaction. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes. Good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Corvo. Yes, Hello. I'll save your uncle. Does part of the soul live in the heart? Nope. Lydia! Lydia, speak to me. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. Fascinating. I need more filler for this episode. Toilet. Much better than I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he shouldn't lack for motivation. The man has lost everything. We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. I hate tests. Ah, Wallace. Are you a nobleman, Corvo? And I took a Sakonian chambermaid to wife. Oh jeez. Yeah, beat the shit out of that bed. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 27. In my thirteenth year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet. Although father had by then sunk into deep depression, it was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Saucy. Ah, yes, you, Cecilia. Good day, Master Corvo. Good talk. But why is this a thing? Okay, I can't talk to you again. You're just like, hey Corvo, here's your mission. Don't talk to me or my child ever again. Any more goodies for me to steal? Hello again, Lydia. I wasn't talking about stealing stuff. But what were you looking at? By the outsider himself, what is this? It's a broken glass. Ow. You idiots, I was hiding in the dumpster the entire time! Haha! <laughs> you guys are terrible at hide and seek. Oh. Guess that's open now. Oh. I probably don't have enough footage to pad out this episode.